In this video, we are going to explore some of the amazing features of Microtik Wireless Router. We are going to start by, by exploring how to create multiple SSID, that is multiple virtual access points on a physical wireless interface. On this tutorial, we are going to create three different virtual access points on the given wireless infrastructure. We're also going to create three different VLANs on the wired infrastructure. And these three different access points will be bridged, will be bridged logically to their respective VLANs or networks or LAN or LAN blocks on the physical infrastructure so that they will be able to have access to only required resources. For this tutorial, we are going to assume three different network groups, three different network segments three different network lands. We are going to assume the finance, we are going to assume the projects, and we are also going to assume the guests. That means we have three different teams requiring to assess network infrastructure, but they are sitting on the wireless side of the network and also on the wired side of the network. So, this video will, in detail or to the best of our ability, show us how to create this unique network that will have three LANs or three virtual networks segregated by the wireless access point and also the wireless and also the wired network. Sit down and enjoy this. First thing you do is you click on the wireless. Click on the wireless. When you click on the wire wireless, you navigate to where you have a security profile. At the security profile, you click on add since we want to create different profiles for the different set of services or different set of people that want to use this we name the profile according to the according to the according to the people or what the profile will represent our first profile will be for for the project team, we name it projects. Projects. So this profile name will be projects. On the mode, we change the mode to dynamic keys. Dynamic keys. On authentication, we highlight, click on the WPA, PSK, and also WPA2, PSK2. Uh, because WPA, PSK2 is a weak and old authentication method, we also click, we also choose, we click on it and choose it, and also choose the more, the more efficient authentication type, which is the WPA, PA2, PSK. This makes a profile backward compatible such that anyone that is using the weaker authentication can still be able to access the um, access point. So we choose the preset key. One, two, three, four.
leave everything the way it is and apply. This profile is for the project team. We also create another profile for guests. Yes, guests, because we want to have a separate profile for guests such that they will only be able to they will only be allowed to do certain things on the network. So we choose WPA, WPA, PSK and WPA to PSK. We apply. Sorry. Yeah, you see error. So that means we have to type the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You apply. Okay. We also, since we want to create three different access points, um, this will be for the finance finance team. Same thing. You click. You click here. Type the pass. The preset key. Now we have created the profile. We come back here to the Wi-Fi interface. You click on Add. Now this enables us to create a virtual interface. Virtual interface virtual interface on the wireless physical interface. This, as this interface we are going to create, let's name it, let's name it project. Project. Apply. Okay. So, project. So the next thing we do is we go to we go to the wireless on the on the mode we choose AP bridge. AP bridge because we want to create an access point. AP bridge. AP bridge. There are other options that we, we could choose, but because we want to create an access point, we choose AP bridge. On the secondary channel, leave it blank. Leave it blank. Choose an SSID, a unique SSID. This Choose a, a unique SSID. Here we are going to choose projects since we are creating for projects. On the interface, we need to bind these two. We we'll choose the wireless LAN 1. Some routers come with more than one physical wireless interfaces, so we choose accordingly. But in this case, we are going to choose wireless 1. The security profile we created for projects was projects. Thank you for your attention and listening to us. Please kindly check back for the continuation of this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channels so that we'll be motivated to do more. Thank you.